Hey, Tim Alvarez, how's it going today? It's Coach here. Um, it's uh, Thursday afternoon, February 23rd, 2017. Um, just wanted to get this video out to you um, about bullying. Um, you know, the no bully zone policy at the school. I uh, had a couple incidences come up uh, just here the last couple days. Um, and so I figured it'd be a good time to just put this out there. You know, we have a lot of new parents uh, in the program, a lot of new kids, uh, kids moving from other areas into, you know, that train jujitsu and are in our program, stuff like that. So uh, every now and then I got to put this kind of stuff back out there just so we're all on the same page knowing, um, you know, what's going on. So obviously I got four big, uh, you know, uh, stickers, emblems out front that say no bully zone. Um, you know, that's not just something to kind of get you in to sign up. That's something that I'm pretty, uh, you know, passionate about making sure that, uh, you know, everybody that comes into the academy has, a, you know, uh, has a safe and, uh, you know, a fun atmosphere to train in and never have to worry about, you know, being picked on and stuff like that. You know, when you're at school, the kids are at school, stuff like that. You know we don't have control over that you know sometimes the principals and the, the teachers and stuff don't take things uh, seriously the way they should at least in my opinion from what I've been you know from the things that I've been experienced myself uh, but me myself I have control over you know what's going on in my Academy now just because it says no bully zone doesn't mean that there's no bullying going on you know there is definitely bullying going on and you know I just need a fair shot, a fair opportunity to address the issue whenever something does come up. The goal is to get it, you know, totally out of the program, but you know, you gotta think about how many kids, uh, you know, again, just join up, start, you know, don't really know the system yet, don't really know, like, that's really what we're about, you know, you're eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the kind of uh, atmospheres that are around at school, elementary school, you know they pick up bad words bad habits bad things you know and then they you know they they repeat stuff or they they kind of copycat what they see at school and maybe somebody's a bully and they just kind of see that and and uh you know they want to do that themselves or whatever you know so whatever um but it's definitely not an atmosphere or something that i will just continue to allow while we hear things you know myself the coaches on the mat hear things we try to address them right away um, you know, make the individual apologize, let them know that that's not right. Um, but if there's something that happened and we didn't catch it and, you know, your child tells you something on the way home from jiu-jitsu class or on the way to or just at the dinner table or in conversation, um, you got to let me know right away so that I can get to the root of the problem, get it fixed. And uh, most of the time it's as simple as simple, it's something simple. We can get it, we can get it addressed and get it fixed up. You know, just recently, uh, you know, had a new girl that previously trained jiu-jitsu somewhere else from another city, move in, really quiet, shy, you know, and another student of ours that's been there since the beginning with me for like, uh, you know, a year or so, um, kind of questioned the other student's belt that's new to the program, like, you know, how did you get that belt and like, where'd you get it from? And, you know, the, the student that's new kind of had trouble with the techniques and the student that's new kind of took it as like, they felt like the person was saying they didn't belong at that belt because they were having trouble with the techniques and uh, that kind of hurt their feelings, you know. And in jiu-jitsu, you know, you, you get a certain belt rank, you know, you're, you're awarded a, a certain rank. Um, you know, you put some time in behind it and some work. Um, you know, jujitsu is rough. You know, it's 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 definitely something that uh, you get one stripe, man. You should be proud of that because of the stuff you had to go through to get that one stripe. So, you know, the individual got their hurt, feelings hurt. The mom brought it to my attention. Um, I addressed the issue right away with the individual that that said that. Um, the individual's a really good kid. Um, never had a really problem with the bullying before with this individual. And she just basically told me, Coach, I promise I didn't, I wasn't trying to be mean. I, didn't, I, I wasn't trying to say it that way. I wasn't trying to say that she wasn't that belt. I was just asking. And I said, okay, well, the way you said it, however you said it, just came out wrong. And she took it as, you know, you were kind of just 
saying she wasn't good in a way and that she didn't belong at that belt rank. So, you know, I would like for you to apologize and let her know you didn't, that's not what you meant and, uh, you know, make things right. And she said, okay, coach. So yesterday, um, you know, she made things right, contacted the parent. The parent said uh, uh, that her daughter was, was good. Um, everything is, is fine now and, and she felt better and that made me feel better and because I never want anybody to not want to come and train because they feel uh, like like somebody's gonna make fun of them or tease them or you know it, they're built, there's a different million ways to to bully somebody you know and I don't want that for any of the kids that train there to ever feel that way because that's totally opposite of what we're about but um, to say it's never gonna happen uh, because I have the stickers out front and I say that in my videos wherever you heard it from you know it, it's gonna happen these kids just you know there's a lot of different kids a lot of different upbringings and personalities you just got to give me a fair shot to address the problem and uh, I will do my best to do that you know it's my job as a coach at least for me I take it that serious that we can use these opportunities to teach these kids hey look this is not right we treat each other with respect we talk to each other uh, a certain way and um, you know, that should kind of help in other areas uh, in their life as well. The other incident that had came up was outside the academy where one of the young boys, young warriors we have, you know, learning some jujitsu now. He's got some skills under his belt, you know. Uh, it kind of sounds like, uh, you know, he's been bullied at school, kind of fed up with it himself, and now he's kind of starting to do the bullying. And so that's not cool either. You know, so I need to, and I will, uh, I've already told the parent that I will uh, have a sit down and talk with that young warrior to let them know that we don't threaten um, or tell anybody that we're going to do some jujitsu moves on them. Uh, you know, we, we, we leave that as a very last resort um, to protect ourselves, not to just, because we can now, you have some power now, where before you didn't have the power, you didn't know anything. You didn't know what to do, so you just didn't say anything. Well, now you have some power. Now you know you can take somebody down and do some things to them, put some submissions on them and stuff. And now you're gonna go out and try to use that for a bullying. That's not what it. That's not what it's there for. So I have to talk to this young warrior and let them know, hey, look, this isn't how we use jujitsu. We use it as a way to protect ourselves. Um, and on that end, you know, that's for the parent. You as a parent to tell your kid when and when they should they should uh, use it um, you know I'm, I'll never tell a tell your kids that they should do this or do that put their hands on somebody um, I can only teach them uh, the techniques to learn how to defend themselves and stuff like that but far as the actual action behind it that's you know for you as a parent to, to tell them when and when they, they they should be able to use that you know but at the end of the day when somebody puts their hands on you um, you know, you, sh you should have the right to defend yourself and, and protect yourself, but not to definitely use it as a way to just go and pick on somebody now. So we don't do it that way either. And we, you know, uh, again, so there's verbal, actual physical uh, bullying, you know. Um, so again, my academy is, is something that, um, you know, I want the atmosphere to be good for everybody, even the adults. You know, we have a lot of teenagers in there. Um, you know, I've had issues with that in the past with other teens um, You know, it doesn't matter how good they get or what what championships they've won or who they are or how long they've been with me Whatever if you're bullying on my mat and you're hurting somebody else's feelings and you're trying to be mean on purpose either You know once I have that talk with you and you don't you don't uh, You know fix the problem I either got to give you a break from jujitsu or just kick you out completely and I don't want to do that, you know, but I got to protect everybody else that's on my mat and um, so it doesn't matter if you're new, uh, somebody that's been there a super long time or whatever, you know, um, just not good at all. So hopefully um, we can get all the, we'll get all, we'll get all this stuff squared away again, just give me a fair shot. You know, I had one time where a parent kind of just let some stuff, didn't tell me I uh, was kind of getting upset with another kid, but he never told me anything. And then one time he just kind of blew up on the kid, on this other kid. And I was like, whoa, you know, where'd that come from? And, you know, you can't do that. You can't just 
blow up on somebody else's kid. That parent's going to, you know, that guy, that kid's parent's going to get upset. Now I'm going to have problems between you two. Well, that kid, but I'm like, well, you didn't tell me anything. You got to tell me. If you don't tell me, how am I supposed to know? Um, and how am I supposed to fix the problem? So anyways, um, it's a good, good lessons here. Um, it's a good way for everybody that's new to the program to give you a good understanding of what I'm trying to do, what I'm, what I'm about. And if something comes up, please let me know right away. Email me, um, you know, Facebook, uh, message me, call the academy number, or just stop at the front desk, talk to Mr. and Mrs. Alvarez, let them know that you need to speak to me, and I'll be more than happy to, to get to the bottom of the problem and get it all fixed up so that we're on the same team. Because again, I can't have division on my team. We all need to be all as one and um, treat all everybody with respect. So you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.